Hey everyone, this is Brandon Bias from ChichiCheckIt.com and welcome to our first Photoshop advanced tutorial. I don't know if there's a specific name for whatever it is we're learning today, so we're just going to say we're making a fancy background. And start up your new document, go ahead and make it the same dimensions as your desktop, mine are 1280 by 720 72 resolution is just fine, transparent background, and hit OK. Start off by filling up your background with black and going off to the side and creating a new layer. And then I want you to go to your brush tool with the letter B or just click over here and go up to the drop down menu and click this number 9 right here and that will give you a master diameter of 9 pixels and a hardness of 0%. Close that back up and swap to your pen tool with the letter P. Click somewhere in the upper area, then hold shift and click on the other side of your canvas. And then I want you to go down to the bottom left and swap that so that you have your foreground color to a white. And then I want you to hit the letter A and that will bring up your path selection tool. And with that, you want to right click and go down to stroke path you should make sure that your brush tool is selected as well as simulate pressure check marked and then when you hit OK you'll see that you've got a line from one end to the other that get that goes from skinny to 9 pixels because that's the size of our brush and then back down to 0 on the end and to delete this path that we made just hit the delete button and then we're going to swap to our move tool with the letter V the next thing we want to do is go down and put an effect on this line and the effect we're going to use is an outer glow. And it doesn't really matter what color you put on it, I just know that I am going to use a green because I think it ends up looking better than other colors that I've played with. And just mess with the size until you think you've got one that looks good and hit OK and there you go, you've got your glowing line. And if I make a mistake later, I'm going to have to do this all over again. So I want to close that up, duplicate it, turn that off, make a new layer. Just make sure that these two layers are selected and combine them with Control E. And there we go. We should have a flattened image right there. What you need to do next is go over here with the layer selected that has your line on it and control click the box next to it and that should load the selection that you have here and with that selected you need to do control alt T this is where it starts getting fun guys and then if you use the down arrow you can see that it made a duplicate of that line but it's all still in the same layer and that looks about a good distance but we need more of these lines so we're gonna do control alt shift T again it's control alt shift and the letter T and then we'll do the same move and you need to make about six to eight of these to make it look good and then control D to deselect again if I screw up later I'm gonna have to do a lot of this all over again so I wanna duplicate it turn that off and we're ready to start working on this one. So what we're gonna do with this to make our fancy background is do control T to bring up our transform tool and then right click and then go down to warp. You can do a lot of things with warp but you have to have the creativity to do it and what I've found that looks the best, well not really the best but the most interesting that I've found out so far is to go up to near the corner, not on the corner, but close to it. Click and drag it all the way out here and just start messing with this a little bit. You don't have to do this exactly the way I do, but it would be kind of interesting if you followed along a little bit. And when you're done warping it, hit enter. And here you go, you've got these warped lines that look rather interesting already, but they're a little bit too big, so I'm gonna size them down and that looks good to me okay so that looks cool but I don't really think that's enough for a background so what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate it control T to transform it 
right click and go down to flip horizontal and then hit enter and that looks cool but if you click and drag and hold shift you can see that the combination of lines can give you a very large amount of different uh, patterns and backgrounds and etc that you can use and toy with and let's just say I like that right there I say that looks interesting and I can do control E to merge those together but then I can do control J to duplicate it and then control T again but this time instead of flipping horizontally we want to flip it vertically hit enter and then we can start playing with this and you can get a lot of different effects in fact I like that right there merge those together still a little bit big so we're gonna size it down just a little bit and then if you have this layer selected you can do control A and up here you've got all of these little icons that you can use but if you click this icon right here it will align it vertically centered and then if you click this line right here it will align it horizontally centered and then you can do control D to deselect and there you go you're all done you've made your very interesting looking background already and heck you could even go a step further with this you could duplicate it again change the size of it and then you could start doing some really crazy stuff with this if you really wanted to and I'm not gonna lie that looks pretty dang insane as it is so there you go a really easy way to make some interesting backgrounds that will catch pretty much anybody's eye when you look at them thanks for watching see you next time